Hey everyone, uh, in this video I want to talk a little bit about graphite pencils and some of their advantages and disadvantages. I use graphite pencils a lot as a beginner. In fact, I use them almost exclusively for a couple of years. Later I started experimenting with some other types of pencils and nowadays I'm mostly using charcoal pencils but I still use graphite pencils for sketching. Graphite pencils have many advantages and one of the main ones is the fact that they are so easy to use. They are very easy to get into. Uh, this is not the case with some other types of pencils which tend to have a steep learning curve. This is especially the case with pastel pencils which can be a little bit difficult for beginners. Graphite pencils are easy to use and what also helps is the fact that we start using them very early at school. In addition to being easily available, because you can find them anywhere, they are also relatively cheap. I found that even the more expensive or higher quality uh, graphite pencils are really uh, not that expensive. They are usually quite affordable. And also, uh, what's very interesting is that even the cheaper ones will get the job done, because there is really not that much difference between uh, more, the, the more expensive graphite pencils and the cheaper, the cheaper ones. The cheaper ones will help you create some very nice artwork as long as you know what you're doing. Uh, even though, obviously, when you pay more, you will get uh, better quality. I should probably say what some of the difference is between the uh, more expensive and the cheaper graphite pencils are. Uh, the more expensive uh, graphite pencils tend to have a better quality of the lead and the lead itself is a mixture of graphite and clay so the clay can contain certain lumps which can make the pencil a little bit scratchy uh, so with more expensive ones this will tend to you will tend to experience this less frequently but it's really not that much of a problem because all you have to do is resharpen a pencil and the problem will usually uh, go away. Uh, the more expensive ones will also, in theory, be less prone to breaking. Uh, and that's another advantage of graphite pencils. They are, in general, uh, very easy to sharpen and uh, you won't experience a lot of breakage with the graphite pencils. You can use all kinds of sharpeners with them. You can use table sharpeners or electric sharpeners or just plain handheld cheap sharpeners. As long as they're relatively sharp, they will get the job done. Uh, some other types of pencils will tend to cause problems when sharpening. I know that a lot of people have problems with softer pencils like pastel pencils or charcoal pencils. Some people even have uh, problems with some softer uh, brands of uh, colored pencils, but graphite pencils are usually very easy to sharpen. <clears throat> graphite pencils also come in different grades, so you have harder pencils and softer pencils, which means that you can use uh, different grades of pencils in order to create a range of value. This can also be viewed as a disadvantage of graphite pencils because it means that you have to use uh, multiple pencils, but uh, most people don't have a problem with that. Some artists also uh, try to reduce the number of pencils that they're using, uh, so they recommend using either four or five or six different grades. Uh, one of the artists that I should, uh, that I will recommend uh, is most certainly Daryl Tank. He's an American artist and he created the five pencil method so he obviously uses five pencils and you don't have to use the five pencils that he uses but uh, you can still learn a lot from him and the way he uses his tape at stroke um, another advantage of graphite pencils is that they are so easy to blend graphite e is easy to move around it's easy to smudge around uh, but unlike charcoal and pastel, it doesn't create a lot of mess uh, because it doesn't leave a lot of residue. Uh, and in addition to that, graphite is also fairly easy to erase. Graphite pencils are very easy to erase either with regular erasers or 
uh, needed erasers so you can easily create some highlights whether you're drawing hair or beard or anything like that uh, so those are some of the advantages of graphite pencils but there are also some disadvantages one of the disadvantages of graphite pencils is the fact that um, they tend to require a little more patience when building value because um, when I started working with charcoal I found that it was a lot easier for me to cover the area and to create darker areas with graphite you're going to need a little bit more patience to create such effects now the thing about graphite is that if you try to blend it uh, too quickly or impatiently you will burnish the surface and maybe damage it uh, which can cause the uh, cause some problems in the appearance of your and the quality of your artwork so it would be better if you um, build value a little more patiently and by using uh, different uh, grades of pencils. Uh, another disadvantage of graphite pencils is that uh, they can't really produce dark tones or really dark tones like pitch black tones because graphite isn't really black. I know there are some softer graphite pencils but even the softest ones uh, can't really produce uh, black Color. So if you're really looking for a high contrast and really pitch black um, value, then you might want to go for charcoal. Uh, another uh, thing about graphite is that because it's reflective, it will tend to appear lighter when you look at it from different angles. Um, of course, uh, it will tend to become downright shiny when you look at it uh, from a sharper angle. And this is the famous graphite shine. The graphite shine is one of the main disadvantages of graphite. Some people don't have a problem with it. I tend not to like it at all. Graphite shine appears when you burnish uh, the surface or when you use, when you apply a lot of graphite, especially using softer pencils. There are many artists online who uh, provide tutorials on how you can minimize the graphite shine. But I have to tell you right away that there's really not that much you can do. Uh, the shine is uh, the property, is a property of graphite itself as a material. And there's really not that much you can do because uh, the darker you go in value and the more graphite you use, um, the shinier it will get. One thing that I found that reliably uh, reduces the amount of graphite shine is the use of fixative. I love to use fixative on all of my artwork and um, I tend to spray, uh, spray it in generous amounts. So when you use fixative it will reduce the graphite shine quite a bit. I can't really quantify it and tell you exactly by how much but it's at least 25% or maybe even 35%. So uh, it will improve the, the problem with the, with the graphite shine. Another problem with graphite pencils is that graphite tends not to mix very well with other types of media because it's a lubricant. You can experience some problems when you're trying to use other pencils on top of it. You can use uh, graphite in combination with uh, charcoal, for example, but like I said, you have to adapt to it a little bit. You have to learn how to use it. I found that there are some problems when combining the two because not only does graphite lubricate the surface, but it also tends to leave certain greasy spots uh, which uh, ruined the appearance of some of the areas that I wanted to be blended more softly. And generally I found that the combination of a black colored pencil and charcoal pencil works better for me. So like I said, it doesn't mean that you can't combine graphite with other media, but it will take a little bit of patience and adaptation. And of course, as long as you're working only with graphite pencils, you shouldn't experience that problem. So those were some of the advantages and disadvantages of graphite pencils. 
they have many advantages and some people don't have a problem with some of the uh, some of the disadvantages that I talked about if you don't have a problem with those then uh, graphite pencil is definitely a tool for you I hope that you found uh, some of this information useful and uh, I will see you in some of the future videos thank you for watching